pain because we've all suffered. We've all sinned before. You know that story where Jesus walks into a room and there's a woman in there who is being ridiculed by everyone. And it's because she was, she did adultery. She slept with another man. And she had a wife, or she had a husband, I'm sorry. And Jesus walks in and everyone says, kill her, hang her. Adultery, torture her. And Jesus comes in and says, my brothers and sisters, don't you know we are all sinners? Duh. And Jesus said, huh, anyone in this room who has never sinned before, stay in this room. Or maybe he said, leave this room. You know, I don't remember exactly. The Bible is an interesting thing. When I read it, God was actually talking to me. He said, Isaac, put this book down. Go run in my green pastures. Go swim in the rivers. Go be that free soul that knows your divine light. You're an image of what is divine because everything living is divine. It's just how do we express ourselves? Most people do it through greed and an ego. I can see it. A lot of people say I have a huge ego, which is funny because I break that down usually. Now, does it take an ego to break an ego? I don't know. I know nothing, obviously. So I just sit here and watch everything vanish, obviously. It's only wood. <laughs> My family knows that, especially Mark. I love you, Mark. You know, I saw some pictures of you today with your daughters. Uh, my niece, he says. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Those women are going to have the best men ever. Because they had one of the best fathers. Actually, they had the best father in the world. And the best mother, too. Vicky, I love you. And to see the generation go further, especially on the female side. You know, everyone's like, ah, have a son, have a son. I really think the, the, the female is by far the most divine thing on this planet. Um, sacred. And sometimes they abuse their power, just like men do. But when they're pure, oh my God, women are just like the most beautiful thing to me. Um, And I'm very lucky to have someone who, you know, she graduates high school or whatever. It's just like, uh, seems like yesterday we were all sitting around the fire and, huh, you know where, deep in the Daniel Boone, where it's just us. You know, I could talk about a lot of different things. My dad, my mom, myself. I could talk about you, because I know you've sinned. And I know you've done good deeds too, but you need to really do all good deeds before it gets reflected. Now, a lot of people take advantage of that because they're evil and they're possessed almost by demons. They don't really understand what the ego is. They don't understand anything because they're in a box all day looking at a computer screen. Go jump in the river, please. Just stop watching me and go live in God's green pastures. Don't read the book. Read it. But don't take it to where you don't understand yourself and you keep questioning, why am I here? You're here to go run in the rivers. Why do you think you're by? I mean, don't go in hypothermia water. You better be smart. Why do you think I'm still alive with ten fingers and toes? Because I'm smart or I'm lucky? Both, obviously. My days are just the same. I go into the place behind me, the Curly Wolf, and drink a chai tea. Because it's the best chai tea in Nevada County, if not maybe California. Everyone's like, do they make it themselves? Well, of course they do, dummy. <laughs> it's an espresso bar. What do you think else they sell? They sell, like, 
crazy stuff. London fogs and orange sunshines. I don't even know. Stuff fucking like the most divine coffee you could ever go. It's an espresso bar, not a coffee house. And every person in there is the most conscious being I've ever met. And I love it. Because I don't have to talk to people in there. I just give them a nod. And they nod at me. And it means namaste. It means my soul acknowledges yours. And that's all I need. I don't need respect or anything like that. Just be in the moment and try to appreciate who we are as people. And say hello to your neighbor. Maybe even shake their hand. Or give them a high five. Because that's what I do with everyone. I give the best high fives. You ever want to high five someone and you see me? Just let it raise your hand up and I'll smack it into the next universe. Your shoulder better be ready to be broken maybe. So you better not have a bad shoulder because if you do and you raise your hand, you're going to regret it. Okay? Huh. Obviously. You know this hand has moved more rock than most men move in their whole lives? Maybe ten lives. Ten human lives. I've moved so much rock. I've moved mountains, obviously. And Taro? <laughs> I cut that thing down. Poof. It was like a... It was like a... Slicing bread. And I went up there with a bar. And I was digging around in the alluvial for a while. And they say, Isaac, you should hit on the hard rock. Oh, are you trying to teach me something? Huh, sure enough, 